Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's video it's a very exciting one because we're going to be setting up for George's birthday party which I'm buzzing for. I just feel like there's a hell of a lot to do so I've got all this stuff upstairs. I'm going to start blowing up the balloons to do on like the balloon arch thing um, that I'm going to attempt to do and then I've got a few other bits as well that I have shown in previous vlogs but obviously I'm going to be setting up and everything in this vlog so hopefully it's going to look pretty decent. I can't believe he's turning one. Like by the time you see this he will be one like that is mad um so yeah it is his birthday party so let's start setting up so i've just got a few bits out these are the, like, the plates and cups and stuff but i've actually just got this um electric balloon pump i got it on amazon it was like 19 pounds i think um i'm gonna use this to start blowing up some of these balloons for the balloon arch so let's crack on literally drowning in balloons right now but they look so good i really love all the colors i'm gonna link down below the exact balloons that i got from etsy all of these balloons were 30 pounds and it came with the little setup like this so obviously i'm gonna attempt now to make the actual balloon arch um but yeah i love them i really really love them i am doing this two days in advance and i'm really scared that they're gonna deflate but let's just hope that they stay how they are for the next two days i'm gonna start attempting to attach the balloons to the balloon arch i've got my like inspo picture up here which is what i'm hoping the balloons are gonna turn out like but obviously i'm not exactly the most artistic person ever so let's just see how it goes fingers crossed I've been attempting to do this for 20 minutes now and this is how far I've got. So I've got a bit of the sort of cream neutral colour and then I've got a bit of the sage green. But then I think I'm going to go on to start with the white and the gold and then I've got a few more of the other like colours so I can do that at the end hopefully. But yeah this is taking a bit of a long time. I don't know how long I've got left until George wakes up from his nap either so we've got little tip if you are going to be doing your own balloon garland i would say before, like when you blow up the balloons then blow up like two or three at the same time using one of these and then tie them together in like a big um i don't really know like how to like basically i blew them all up on their own um and now i'm trying to like attach them together like this in like little clusters but if you try them all like that um at the beginning then it saves you a job and it's a lot easier to put them onto the like plastic thing um but yeah
So this is where we're up to so far with the balloon arch. I'm actually quite happy with how it's coming together. Oh, I've just knocked the... Oops. Um, so that's about half of it done. I'm gonna do the other half tomorrow. I've still got all of these balloons to add to it, plus all of the other decorations. I've got to do all the food and everything, but I thought I would crack on and start just prepping as much as I possibly can today so that tomorrow's not just like a mad rush to get everything sorted. But um, yeah, I'm quite happy with these so far. I would definitely, definitely recommend this balloon arch from Etsy, which I will link down below. I feel like the quality is really good. The colors are lovely, yay. Hey guys, so it's now Friday, the day before the party. George has just gone down for his first nap and I am trying to decide what I'm gonna be doing today. So all I've got to go and get is the cake and some donuts because we've got like a little donut wall um so i thought that would be a nice little thing to have in the garden um it just looks good doesn't it and obviously donuts are yum so um i think that's everything that i need to buy i just then have to set everything else up obviously i've started on the balloon arch you saw where that got to i'm not going to carry on with that until my mum gets here which is tonight probably about seven o'clock seven p.m so um yeah tonight's going to be like doing all the balloons all, all the balloons are blown up it's just like putting it onto the arch which does take a lot more time than i actually anticipated so yeah we've also got a lady coming to deliver um soft play that we've sort of hired for the day so we're just gonna set that up outside hopefully considering the weather worst comes to worst we can have it in the living room but um yeah i'm really excited i feel like everything is on track i just need to then once all the balloons and stuff are done and the soft plays here, obviously that's just higher, so we're getting that sort of delivered and then they're gonna take it away the following day, so that's good. Once all of that is sorted, then it's just in the morning, need to cook the food. Um, so I've just got like standard um, party food, like kids party food. I haven't gone like all out on it at all. So yeah, I mean, it's just mainly like little ones like come in, so <laughs> I feel like they're gonna be absolutely fine with it. So yeah, that is pretty much everything that I've got left to do. I'm just really looking forward to my mum being here so she can like entertain George whilst I'm cracking on and doing things. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I kind of feel stressed but I kind of feel alright about it. I'm more excited than I am stressed, which is good. Hello guys, it is later on now. I've been to Asda, I went and got the cake. I didn't get the donuts because I didn't have any but it doesn't matter, we're not gonna do that anymore. We are going to show you the cake. It looks so good, honestly. I can't wait to show you. So we went to Asda, we picked up the cake. These are the cakes that you get. It's called designer cake. If they've got the plain ones, I got the white one. You can also get a chocolate one, but they print a picture on it for you. And I made a little picture on Canva for us. And this is it. It's a picture of me, George and Ash. And obviously I've just done like a little happy birthday, George and put a couple of little prints and stuff on there. They look so cute, I'm so happy with it. And I feel like the picture came out quite well, so I'm really, really happy with it. Other thing we've been doing is sorting out George's like one month, two month, three month, four month, up to 12 month little photo garland thing. I'll show you it now. I shared this on one of my last vlogs, like the idea, the pictures I had, but I didn't have this. My friend Beth actually really kindly made me this. She's so talented. She's got like a little cricket machine, so she's been able to do this. She did it for her little boy's birthday, and I was like, I need that. So one month, two months, all the way up to, oh, this one's no month, 10 month. 11 and 12. I actually don't have a picture of George on his own. So it has to be a picture of me and him. He's smiling like Helen it though, so I thought it was a good picture. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to hang that up. I don't know where I'm going to hang it up yet, but it's like on a bit of string, so I've obviously got the ability to hang it up somewhere. I've got his cake like I've just shown you. I'm not sure if I showed you these. I've got these in um, Asda as well, just happy birthday like foil balloons. I feel like just the standard stuff. I feel like I've shown you these already. This is his banner. But yeah, we're getting there. I also just wanted to show you where we're gonna be having the party. So this is the garden. It's so nice, I absolutely love it. So I feel like it's gonna suit the vibe quite well. Cause like I said, we're going for like a safari theme. I've just added like all of this fake ivy. I've got a little bit left over. I'm not really sure what to do with it, but just added that all around. There's actually already some over there already. So I feel like maybe this is where the balloon garland will go. Like the balloon arch, but I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do, but hopefully it's going to look good. The garden's nice and big. We also actually have a little 
adventure playground thing for the kids so that's good i'm also hiring some soft play so i think i'm gonna put it here because then like it's on the grass it's a flat surface it's near where the adults are going to be sitting so i feel like that will look really nice there and then for like pictures and stuff that would be quite cute and then it will just be really cool for the kids to play and stuff i'll try and record when they're setting it up if not i will show you what it looks like afterwards has now all been set up George is just over there enjoying it at the moment in the TP. Um, so this is from Essex Soft Play Hire so definitely go and check them out if you are in the Essex area and wanting to hire a soft play thing for the day I'm gonna show you it properly in a second but doesn't it look so good I got this entire bundle for 60 pounds I think because it usually does come with an extension pack which is the TP, the tunnel and also a tent but the tent was damaged so they it was that all of that would have been 80 pounds but actually because the tent was damaged they're not able to use that so i've got all of this for 60 pounds which is so good it looks so good Look, george is going through that <laughs> hello <laughs> good boy hello come on then yeah come on hi We've also got this one box here. That's gonna go outside obviously tomorrow. It's, it's not weatherproof though, so I'm not gonna do that. We've also got the ball pit, um, which is here, but obviously again, that's not weatherproof. So we're not gonna put that up until tomorrow. But I'm really, really happy with how this is looking so far. Buzzing. I've set up this photo um, garland thing up as well now. Hey guys. Um, so that looks really good. And we've got George's banner. I'm not really sure what to do with this though because it's got like sticky, it's sticky back. I didn't realise that when I ordered it. Um, and I don't really know where I'm going to stick that because I think it's supposed to go on a window. Um, but I don't know. I don't think I've got a window that's big enough. So who knows. Obviously I've got the cake, like I showed you. I'm really excited about that. George has gone to bed now. I'm gonna start blowing these up. It's just like foil balloons saying happy birthday. It comes with some string, so I'm gonna use this. Oh my God, this is literally the best, my, my best friend, this party set up, honestly, 19.99 from Amazon. And it is so worth it to not have to like kill yourself blowing balloons up. Um, so yeah, let's crack on. through the foil balloons and the straw thing that comes with them to like open the hole where you blow it up from actually got sucked into the Y. I don't know if you can hear it so I haven't got the straw anymore so I wouldn't be able to blow these up if I didn't find a straw in the cupboard so I'm buzzing that I've been able to find that and I'm going to be able to blow the other ones up and I'll be a bit more careful next time. done it i'm actually really happy with it i just need to get the string and figure out where i'm even gonna put it i'm not even sure where this is gonna go but i'm just glad that it's done and all of the balloons are finally blown up i'm just so excited now i've just got party bits like everywhere all around me but i feel like it's gonna be a good little setup unfortunately this is a fail because the a the p and the b <laughs> have all deflated and they've all got holes in and i've tried to sellotape them i've tried to figure out a way of fixing it but it's just not worth it so i think we're just gonna have to get rid of this i was trying to figure out a way if i could get the p to look like a b to see if i could just have the word birthday because it seems like such a shame but i don't think it's gonna work so I wouldn't recommend this. This was the Asda 
happy birthday sign I wouldn't recommend getting it. So it's about an hour before the party starts and I feel like I am actually ready. I've got dress on, makeup's done, hair's done. George is still napping. I feel like actually I was stressing about nothing. So we've got the whole play area set up. Obviously the ball pit is now out. Hopefully it doesn't rain. Um, and then we've just got the balloon arch. I just think it looks so good. We finally set everything up and this is what the balloon arch looks like. I'm so happy with it. Firstly, the colors are really good. And secondly, I did not pop one balloon, which I'm absolutely amazed with. I feel like I could have done a better job with the smaller ones. I did want a few more smaller ones, but they're kind of behind, um, like underneath and everything. Um, I didn't really know how to get them on display when I was hanging it up, but actually I'm still really, really happy with it. I've got George's little giraffe here. This is the H&M one that I showed you yesterday. And we've got the one box that my friend Beth gave me, a recycled one because she used it for Hudson's birthday, her little boy. So we've just put a couple balloons in there and some ivy and I think that looks really, really nice. So yeah, that is the little, I guess, photo backdrop that we're going to use. These curtains were already there so we were just going to like maybe have the curtains like shut so that we could have like nice photos there. And then of course we have the soft play set up, which is just here. I haven't really done much to this, obviously. The lovely girls from Essex Soft Play Hire actually did all of this for us. So yeah, that is the soft play sorted. We've actually just also got a bouncy hopper from in the living room, Peppa Pig one, just because why not? Um, and then we've just got George's little sign. We've just popped it up here because to be honest, I don't know where else to put it. So I've just put it that there. Welcome to George's first birthday party. Um, and yeah, we've also got the adventure playground thing for the kids, got some seating here. We've also got some more seating behind here, which is lovely. And then if you come around here, you've got seating over here as well for the adults. I feel like it's gonna be a really, really lovely party. I'm so excited for everyone to see George and I'm just really happy with how this has turned out to be honest. I love it. I definitely think we can get some good pictures with this. So, very happy. All of the food as well, which I'll show you, it's all just like standard kids party food. Um, so yeah, we've just popped that all there. And then George's cake is here, which I absolutely love. Guys, I had no idea that Asda did this face cake thing. We can just get the picture done on there and I just love it so much. So I definitely recommend doing that. I think this one was, this was the small size and this one was 13 pounds, obviously once you get it edited and everything. So yeah, buzzing for that. I think for the adults, we're just gonna do like Diet Cokes and Fantas. I have actually got some gin and tonic as well. And then for the kids, we've just got some like little cups got some orange juice cartons and then I'll just do like squash or something in those. All the kids are quite small so I don't think they'll be bothered by the squash and orange juice. I'm really happy with how all of this has turned out so far. I just can't wait for everyone to get here now. Um, everyone can just sort of come through here. Obviously it's a really nice little seating area anyway. Um, and then yeah we've just got little George's set up and I'm so buzzing for him. Don't touch it. Ah! I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I was always the one to find myself in conversations. Oh, 'cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. 'Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you. You're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh my sweet baby I was never the one to give up the ghost No, I was so stuck I kept on playing my part Wanted to give up cause nothing was changing but with you Say happy so birthday. That you're here, yeah. I see colors Say happy. Oh, because I finally okay. learned my lesson. Because you glue all the pieces back together. Oh, okay. Can we yeah, share that? Please? You take all my bones and okay. make them better. Choo choo. Oh, yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever. <laughs> I feel so free. Oh, my sweet baby. Oh, 
Rest of our time, and I know it so well. I will always be by your side. Cause you are the only pieces that you can you, you take them all on to make them better. Aww. So here you go. Wanna try oh, he doesn't want it. Just put it on the table. I'm a sweet baby. Hey, cheers. Cheers. Oh, no, not that one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. I love it. Wow. You're gonna blow it out. Uh, Give me more. Yay! Good boy. Oh, Come on, then. Is that for you? Yeah. Yay. Yay. <laughs> What's that? Woo! Yeah. Is that a green? Yeah. 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 Oh, you can't have this. It's a high YouTube. Yeah. Hi, fans. It's a hi. Hi, everyone. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Say hello, look. Yeah. This. Yeah. 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 Say hi! Oh, hi. So it is now seven o'clock. We finished the party, everyone's gone, the soft play has gone, it was here, now it's not. George is in bed, everyone's left, we've tired of the house. Now we've just got the balloon arch to take down. I don't really know what I'm going to do with this. Um, probably just pop all the balloons and pop it in the bin. But it's such a shame because I really love it. Maybe I'll just keep it up for the next couple of days. Um, but we had such a good day. It was so much fun. I don't know how much we got to vlog. I literally didn't vlog anything. My friend Sophie was like being the cameraman and trying to record as much as possible. But yeah, I really hope that you saw like a little snippet into George's party. It was the best day. I really had so much fun. George had so much fun. It was nice to see everyone and catch up. But yeah. I think I'm going to leave the vlog here guys and I'll catch up for you in the next one. Bye!